Hello and welcome to tonight's homework help for Monday night, October 29th, 2012. We're going to jump right in with combining like terms. Write an expression and combine like terms. As you can see here, there's different uh, shapes like triangles and squares. Uh, highlighted is the T and the S uh, to use as variables. You got cats and dogs, C and D, airplanes and cars, A and C, Scissors, well, those aren't scissors. Those are scissors, and those are pencils. So S for scissors, P for pencils. Okay, so I'm going to do the airplanes and cars one. Um, it looks like I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five airplanes. So I'm going to put 5A for these guys. As a matter of fact, I'll just cross them out. Uh, plus 1C for this guy, okay? And just so you guys know, I can actually rewrite that as, and it's simpler to write it just as C, because there's only one C, one times C is C, so I'll just write it as C. Okay, then I'm gonna cross out these guys because I'm gonna write 2A for two more airplanes, and then uh, cross those guys out because I'm gonna add 3C for cars. Now I need to, uh, I wrote the expression, now I need to combine like terms. Um, I have a fondness, so I really like to use this shape method, so I'm going to put um, boxes around all the airplane parts and uh, triangles all around the parts that have the letter C. And now I know I'm going to combine triangles with triangles and squares with squares, and so I'm going to go ahead and get 5A squares plus 2a in the squares equals 7a plus uh, c plus 3c makes 4 c's okay there's my answer I box it in and I move on to the next problem I'm gonna let you guys do the other problems on that upper area on this bottom area I'm gonna go ahead and try out uh, let's try this last one uh, here 3n plus 4 minus n so I know, again, I like to use that method where I uh, put shapes around like terms. So I'm going to put a box around the 3n and the n, because they both have n's. I'm going to put a triangle around the 4. Um, well, uh, I'm going to combine the boxes of the n's first. So 3n and what's important here is not to miss that that's a negative n or a minus n. So 3n minus n would be not 4n, but 2n, okay, plus 4. And there's nothing else to combine the 4 with, so uh, there I'm done. So box in my answer, and I'm ready to move on to the other side. All right, and here we are on the other side. We're doing all the fun of the fair. This problem gives you the chance to work with money. Uh, looks like we've got a dollar, 50 cents, 25 cents, 10 cents, 5 cents, and 1 cent. Some pictures of rides. It says Marie and her brother Joe are at the fair with their mom. Here are the prices of the rides. Here are the prices of the rides. Uh, the carousel costs 25 cents. Roller coaster, 50 cents. Fun cars, $1.30. Ghost train, 70 cents. And the big wheel, a buck twenty-five or $1.25. So let's go ahead and take a look at our questions here. Okay, um, which ride costs the most money? Well, you just need to look at this list and figure out which which of these rides costs the most money. And then just write your answer there. So whatever the name is up here, and you write that there. Number two, mom has four dimes, two quarters, six nickels, and five pennies in her purse. So I would probably figure out how much money that is total. Remember, dimes are worth 10 cents, quarters are worth 25, nickels are worth 5 cents, and pennies are worth 1 cent. So add them all together and figure out how many total cents you have. And then it says Joe wants to ride the big wheel. Is there enough money for this ride? So it's simple. All you have to do is look at the price of the big wheel, look at how much money you have total here, and see if you do have enough to ride the big wheel. You just write yes or no. And then you have to show how you know you're correct. So basically that work for adding up all these coins you're going to have to do over here. And then you're going to have to show uh, if the, uh, the big wheel, uh, which is the ride that it says she wants to ride, um, 
if it costs uh, less or more than the amount of money that mom has in her purse. And then you write your answer here, yes or no. Okay, if you have any other questions or comments or concerns, feel free to call us or text us. And uh, good night and good luck. Go Bears! Rawr!